Yo le pondría más, We're back after a failed attempt at Facebook Live. We're preparing the lichen. Val has already eaten some lichen orally. He's eaten about 150 milligrams. And I'm about to try this. Dr. Jerry. I just, I'm about to scale this, but this is a fresh specimen of lichen. Fresh. You can see the color. It's very green. Let's see how much this baby is. What is it? Let's see. Right. We're in Ecuador yeah. right now, and this is the this is the mythical psychedelic lichen. One hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty milligrams. Doctor J Definitely. eating very mushroomy taste. Bacon. Yep, mushrooms like the rumbes. It tastes like silosive sapotecorum. Exactly as if I'm chewing the stems of some landslides of some the rumbes. Mm. Very mushroomy, extremely mushroomy, like. No algae flavor at all. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So Val and Jerry have both eaten the psychedelic lichen. I think they're gonna both eat a little bit more and we're gonna wait and see. I'm gonna be their trip sitter and when I see that all is good, I'm gonna also partake. Assuming that this is a manageable, manageable experience. I mean, of course, like, we already know the main components are tryptamines, so I'm born and ready to try this, for sure. ¿Sabes cómo lo estaba haciendo mejor? Una vez que lo haces así. No, a tus pelotita. So happy to be here, so blessed. We have the water boiling for some tea. We're also going to do the lemon tech method with some Ecuadorian citrus limes. So it's, it's, it's pretty much a texture of a paper. Um, um, it feels really much like paper. You notice the turquoise color, aquamarine. This is a fresh specimen. This is a dried specimen. So that's one and when it more. When it's dried, it loses its color a little bit. Yeah, it has to be meticulously clean. We don't want to drink or flavonoids or isoflavonoids or even uh, gramineas from grass or uh, vegetable matter that could definitely um, induce an inflammatory thing on the stomach. So that's half a gram, 1.5. And when was the first time you, you heard about this lichen? Mm. It was through the internet for sure, but um, no, 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 no. It was a Hoffman's book, and then I got a chance when I traveled to Nepal. I had the honor of meeting Christian Raj, 
uh, on the plane, and that's how we um, I knew about his work, the psychoactive or psychedelic, the Encyclopedia of Psychedelic Plants by Psycho Christian Raj, by psycho yeah psychoactive plants by Christian Raj. There he, that he explicitly talks about uh, lichen and its properties and its supposed components, and here we are. Here we are. See, this is the most humidito. This is more uh, damp lichen. You can feel the the wetness here, and obviously you can see the wetness and here. And do you want to consume the dry or the fresh? Lichen? Well, I already had a, a little bit of fresh, and I'm definitely gonna try the tea, and and the infusion. Why not? I mean, we're here. So we're gonna scale. Three grams each for each of us. Assuming it's mushrooms, which is not. So, that is true. If it's too much, we will see in about an hour. The approach is just to kind of start slow, proceed with caution. I don't want to som somat 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 somatizar somatize. I guess I'm feeling slight. Are you feeling any of the effects yet? Like a light boss. Maybe some euphoria. It's almost like a mild tingling. A mild oh, tingling. Yeah. Are you feeling Thanks. anything yet, no. Val? No. <coughs> True psychonauts. Supposedly the last time someone ate this was 80 years ago within the Waroni tribe. A shaman consumed this matter and he was actually able to kill a neighboring shaman in his journey. The lichen took him so deep in his mind, he was able to do that. On this trip, we've also found out the Shuar, the Shuar tribe, they have knowledge of this lichen. We are in Shuar territory, and yeah, this is a tribe that shrinks head, human heads. You know, we saw them in <laughs> Beel Jews and other shows where we saw these little heads. This is their land, this is their medicine. Um, actually, I'm going to take advantage of the video feed. Come here, I'll show you. A... So this is a Shuar spear. You can see that it's made for hunting and it's beautifully carved. Two snakes meeting at the... Wow. And it's really sharp. Like the tips, really sharp. Very sharp. So this is from them. And this is also another spear. <laughs> But beautiful, you know, this this comes actually from one so snake, beautiful. Like from the mouth of one snake, you know, and very heavy wood, seems pretty solid. There's also some of the artwork here from the Shore tribe. We do know that this seed contains 5-MeO-DMT and NNDMT as well, so that's another plus. This is a... Uh, Ojo de venado, uh, deer's eye or eye of the, uh, yeah, 
and this this is also like pure 5 meo dmt so clearly we are in the jungle that you know this is also part of the shuar tribe this is actually a headband from them made by them this is like the beats of them and so beautiful. Yeah, so beautiful, man, to be in these lands. We also have the beautiful fan over here. I show them this. This is super traditional, like from the Amazon. The patterns up here. So we were told on by our by our local guide Pablo of the Schwarz use of this tribe and they told him that they consider this medicine um, very strong and it's very spiritual. We have the glasses ready to make the tea. We have a lot of cleaning to do. This lichen. Okay, so. And how do you know how much water to put? Oh, he, he put one liter, but it's already reduced to halfway because it's been boiling non-stop. So I'm going to put all of our doses, three, 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 and split it into three parts.
And then Dr. Jerry preparing the lemon tech. And if it's similar to, to mushrooms containing psilocybin, we might notice that it's going to get quite blue. Wow, look at it. It's turning like it was dry oh, yeah, and it's turning, it's turning uh, green. green. It seems like it's expanding a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's, it's, well. it's definitely reacting. Like it was white and now it's turning green. Because it was not fresh. Lemon tag. Wow, look at that color. getting quite dark. The bottom is remaining white. Se reca. Una cucharita o algo como para vertirlo. Esto es un interesantísimo. So, probably another 15 minutes for the lemon tech. It's becoming even darker. Are you feeling anything? No. No? Feeling anything? Slight nausea. Slight nausea. So while we're waiting for the lichen to finish brewing and to finish up the lemon tack method, we'll take a little walk.
Tea time. Tea time. Tea time. Cool. All right, Val is drinking his juice. What is the taste? Very good English tea. English tea. I'm definitely feeling something. Everything's brighter. I don't know if it's my, it's just fine, but. Let's okay. see your pupils. Well, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Someone <laughs> has blue eyes and so have a better read. We'll, we'll have to take a look at those in a second. <laughs> so this so, is what the tea looks like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's it taste like? It's good. It's good? Does no burning sensation? Yeah. No, that's not. Val, your pupils are slightly dilated. Yes, your pupils are, are dilated, my brother. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> Oh yeah. We're in a pretty bright kitchen. Yeah, he should bright have lights. like close pupils and no, nope, me. Nope. How are my pupils? I haven't taken anything yet. No, they're like close. So we see the half <laughs> of what he's presenting. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where we wait and see. That oh, smells like. Oof! Oof! It I mean, smells. It smells like English tea. It smells like Green soggy tea. socks. No. You know when you're like walking in rainfall for like hours, and you pull out those socks. <clears throat> That's exactly what it smells to me. <laughs> it smells. It smells weird. <laughs> Well, I mean, in all fairness, if we just brewed mushrooms without cacao, without it, it would also have a smell. Yeah, I think, I mean, it makes sense that this is the next step. And obviously the third step would be to take the lemon. Thick. I, I, I'm gonna get, put my shoes on and maybe start the fire. Then it's quite comfortable here. Just be comfortable, drink your tea. You know, I think I'm gonna sit on the hanging hammocks. But I would I would say that there's a slight increase of everything's more clear, more bright, brightness. Yeah, there's some sort of like sparkling thing that's making everything a bit more lucid, not more bright. Definitely. Drink it. It's too hot. I'm it's too hot. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You're more inclining, eating more. Fresh like a frog, like a gram. Yeah. Right? They want more. Yeah. I would just, you know, sometimes it can take half an hour no, to an hour. I mean, let's let's be let's let's I mean let's be honest. If there's no MAOI here present naturally in the lichen. If it's not produced by the algae, then that means my stomach juices are destroying the tryptamines. And not but not the psilocybin. The I don't think you need MAOI for psilocybin. No, you do not. Psilocybin is the edible, orally active DMT. So, yeah. 
that that also makes sense that it may not need an MAOI inhibitor because if there's already a molecule that's going to make the DMT to be absorbed orally, that pathway may be seized by the 5-MeO DMT. Um, and I, we've seen it every time we're like tripping and we take a puff of, of Toto. I've done it on LSD, I've done it on psilocybin, and I've done it on mescaline. Salud, uh. <coughs> Are you feeling it, babe? If I'm feeling it, I want to feel it more. Drink your tea. <laughs> Was that a yawn? Yeah, that yeah. that could be indicative. I'm tired. Or, of the psilocybin. Or it's coming. I don't think 150 milligrams of fresh material. No way. And, and if we're t if we're really considering like the components of most plant material are below five percent of total weight probably average ranging from one percent to three percent that's nothing that's like you know like that's why you need a shed load of plant material to extract you know a decent amount of of molecules that being said i would definitely eat a gram of fresh material but i'm curious about what the dry lichen infusion is going to do It's like, it smells like, I used to smell this when I was like, with, when I was young, when I was like a boy, I remember this smell from, from something. I don't know if it was my grandfather or someone. Or something. Deja vu. It is a familiar smell though. Like I've smelled this before. How many times have you lived this moment, Jerry? Well, definitely today, I can proudly say that it, the, the whole day, even from the moment it started, I've been witnessing a whole bunch of deja vus and feelings of, yeah, I've been, especially when we got there to like to the spot and we went down the road into the jungle and there was this bridge that we had to cross. And then that area, basically the place where Pablo said, this is it, that's the lichen. That whole place, I've dreamt about it before. In multiple dreams, like at least 15 years ago, right? And I can recognize that place. And I was walking with people that till today make perfect sense that I was unable to identify them back in the day. But clearly, this is a confirmation that uh, this is a dream come true for me. I really feel connected to this land. I, this is not the first time I'm coming here. Mm -mm. And I'm definitely returning sooner than I thought I was gonna return. Oh. Val, I'm gonna pass the microphone to Val. Dr. Bufo Alvarius. Dr. Bufo. the dirt and tasting. How does it taste to you, Val? Brilliant.
We're gonna check on our lemon tech. Let's change it pretty green color. Well, this is part one of the Psychedelic Lakin, the Night of the Psychedelic Lakin.